Hello, I'm Dr. Bill Rawls. Uh, question, how is Lyme disease related to anxiety? You know, most people are, are, are really struggling with anxiety and, and sleep disturbances that have chronic Lyme disease. And the reason is that Lyme disease, the stress of Lyme disease makes you less resistant to any kind of stress. It lowers your reserves. So your body is stressed and whenever your body is stressed, you activate your sympathetic nervous system, your fight or flight nervous system. And that's really designed to use intermittently when there's a real emergency, uh, like uh, uh, somebody breaking into your house at three in the morning. You know, you want that surge of adrenaline that wakes you up, gets you going, and, uh, and, and helps you deal with that emergency. But when your body is stressed, when the chronic illness is generating inflammation and the, the microbes are disrupting everything in your body, your body becomes less stress resistant and it activates your fight or flight response uh, chronically. So if you've got adrenaline pushing through your system all the time, it makes your system very, very fragile. So anything that would cause anxiety is very apt to generate that kind of response that you feel anxious, you, you feel revved up all the time, you've got that adrenaline surging through your system, it affects your sleep, and then not getting sleep actually affects the immune disruption that would generate that, so the whole thing becomes this vicious cycle that's never ending. Um, so breaking that cycle, the first step is controlling those microbes, restoring normal immune system functions, but also bringing down your adrenaline levels. And I think that's really, really important. Um, when I was going through my recovery, that's something I became very conscious of, is whenever my adrenaline levels were starting to raise, I could feel my energy in my body just uh, building in the upper part of my body and my body became tense and, and that anxiety response was very prevalent. Um, especially as I went through the day and just that building stress of the day of just dealing with stress factors as you go through the day, it tends to make it worse. So you raise your adrenaline levels as you go through the day, that affects your cortisol and, and it, it can really make you miserable. So of being aware of your adrenaline levels, being aware of tension is really important. Reducing your tension levels, being aware of things that raise your anxiety level. So when I was recovering from Lyme, I was really careful about any kind of uh, input that was coming into my brain. Um, I didn't listen to radio. I was very careful about reading the newspaper or reading what was on the internet. I tried to make my world small by not worrying about things in the outside world that were that were significant, but were things that I couldn't really control. So you like to bring your world down to, to the things that you have control over, and you like to minimize that as much as you can. So you're looking to reduce factors that raise your adrenaline levels during the day. Getting regular exercise of any kind, whether that's just walking or doing Qigong or yoga can help diffuse that uh, adrenaline surge that you have, that adrenaline buildup during the day. Um, and just taking a meditation or, or what, I, what a lot of people call a power nap. I used to call it touching sleep. So I would take 15 to 30 minutes in the middle of the day at lunchtime and lie down and I would try to relax myself to the point that I could just barely get to sleep, even if it was a minute or two, because if I reach that point, I know that I brought my adrenaline levels down to zero. And if you can do that once or twice during the day, that can short circuit that adrenaline buildup and help you deal with that anxiety, that, that excessive overactive fight or flight response that's driving this whole situation. There are also plenty of herbs that do that. Ashwagandha, Bacopa, passion flower, many of our calming and balancing herbs are very good for short-circuiting that sympathetic response. So yes, Lyme disease is very, very much tied to anxiety. 
Um, it does increase your, your uh, uh, ability to become or, or your propensity to become anxious and decreases your stress resistant. Um, so the solution to that is reducing stress, uh, using herbs to calm and normalize and balance your hormones, uh, trying to move, trying to get exercise during the day. Um, and you keep doing that and keep doing that and keep working at it until you become an expert at keeping those adrenaline levels down through the day. So if this information was helpful, uh, please go to my website, RawlsMD.com. We've got a newsletter. There's lots of good information there. Uh, sign up for those things to uh, keep them coming to you to help you solve this struggle that we all go through for overcoming uh, chronic Lyme disease. Uh, thanks very much and take care. Thanks for watching this video. Please take the time to leave a comment below. And while you're there, uh, ask me any questions or if you have topics that you'd like to hear about, uh, pass those along. Um, and please subscribe to my channel so you'll have these videos coming your way regularly. Thank you.